Lesson 12 for June 13 to 19, Dealing with Difficult Passages, read by Dr. Percy Harold. Thursday, June 18, Deal with Difficulties Scripturally and Prayerfully. Question, read Acts 17.11, Acts 8.35 and Acts 15, verses 15 and 16. What did the apostles and members of the early church do when they were confronted with difficult questions? Why is the scripture still the best source for its own interpretation? Acts 17 and verse 11. Now the Berean Jews were of more noble character than those in Thessalonica, for they received the message with great eagerness and examined the scriptures every day to see if what Paul said was true. And Acts 8.35, then Philip began with that very passage of Scripture and told him the good news about Jesus. And Acts 15, verses 15 to 16, the words of the prophets are in agreement with this, as it is written, After this I will return and rebuild David's fallen tent. Its ruins I will rebuild, and I will restore it. The best solution to Bible difficulties is still found in the Bible itself. Bible problems are best dealt with when they are studied in the light of all Scripture instead of just dealing with a single text in isolation from others or from the whole of Scripture. We must indeed use the Bible to help us understand the Bible. Learning to mine the great truths found in Scripture is one of the most important things we can do. If you do not understand a passage of Scripture, try to gather some light from other biblical passages that deal with the same subject. Always try to find clear statements of Scripture to shed light on those passages that are less clear. It also is very important never to darken and cloud clear statements of Scripture by bringing to them difficult-to-understand passages. Rather than having extra-biblical sources or philosophy or science explain the meaning of the Bible, we should allow the text of Scripture itself to unfold its meaning to us. It has been said that on our knees we literally look at difficulties from a new perspective, for in prayer we signal that we are in need of divine help in interpreting and understanding Scripture. In prayer we seek the illumination of our minds through the same Holy Spirit who inspired the biblical writers to write what they wrote. In prayer, our motives are laid open, and we can tell God why we want to understand what we read. In prayer, we ask God to open our eyes to His Word, and to give us a willing spirit to follow and practice His truth. This is crucial. When God guides us through His Holy Spirit, in response to our prayers, He does not contradict what is revealed in the Bible. God will always be in harmony with the Bible and confirm and build upon what he has inspired the biblical writers to communicate to us. So to finish today, how does prayer help you get into the right frame of mind to be able to understand and obey the word of God better? Hi there. Thanks for watching this video on the Advent Band Ministries YouTube channel. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to be alerted whenever we upload new videos. So, until we meet him in the clouds, may God continue to bless you. This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind and Hearing Impaired, Christian Record Services for the Blind, the Sabbath School Department, and Hope Channel. You can also listen on the official Sabbath School 4 app and the Apple iTunes app, Sabbath School with Percy Harold. Remember, God is always faithful.